I've been asked to talk about some examples of how community energy enterprises are supporting those in their communities that are facing hardship due to the coronavirus outbreak and the lockdown. On the CEE site, there is a whole page of links to COVID-19 related advice and how the sector is responding. But I'm going to talk about three community solar enterprises that CFR helped to set up in 2016. And those are Burnham and Western Energy, CRC, which owns a nine megawatt community solar farm serving Burnham-on-Sea and Western Supermare in Somerset. Ferry Farm Community Solar, which owns a five megawatt community solar farm serving the parishes of Selsey and, and Sillersham down on Selsey Bill in West Sussex. And Gorecott Solar, which owns a four megawatt solar farm serving Buckingham, the village of Gorecott and the surrounding communities. Between them, these three commun community energy enterprises have been generating about £120,000 a year of surplus income to support energy and fuel poverty advice work in their communities and to provide funding for local community organisations and, and, and projects. And behind the scenes, three years of work has gone into sorting their long term finance structures and getting their operations and governance running smoothly. And it was only really in 2019 um, that the organisations were in a position where they could start thinking about scaling up their activities beyond their own grass at Solar Farm looking at ways to grow their enterprise and its role in the locality's net zero transition. And some really interesting development plans were coming together and then the corona pandemic hit. And, and the plans we were working on involved employing people, engaging people, deploying business models that involved people, uh, supporting local climate action networks of people. In fact, a lot of people coming together to do stuff and uh, that's all near impossible for the moment. So those development plans have been put on ice. But what the three enterprises could do was deploy money. And independently, all three enterprises decided that the most useful thing they could do uh, for the moment was to support their community's response to the, to the net zero transition. And in the first week of the lockdown, between them, they allocated £100,000 um, to local corona crisis funds. <clears throat> 